सो हेलो एवरी वन होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन एंड वेलकम टू द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ आर एल एल एम ऑफ सीरीज टिल नाउ वी हैव डन सो मेनी थिंग्स लाइक वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड द फुल बैक एंड कोड ऑफ आर मल्टी डॉक चैट प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड द कम्प्लीट रैक पाइप लाइन वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑल द नेसेसरी लॉगर्स एंड ऑल द एक्सेप्शन रिलेटेड कोड वी ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑल द फास्ट ए पी आई रिलेटेड सो वी आर गेटिंग द ए पी आई ए पी आई ऑल्सो एंड वी आर एबल टू इंडेक्स द डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड चैट विद दैम यूजिंग द फास्ट ए पी आई स्वेगर यू आई सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डन एंड द नेक्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू डू इज क्रिएट अ इंटरक्टिव फ्रंट एंड विच कैन यूज आर बैक एंड यूजिंग द ए पी आईज एंड कैन अपलोड द डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड कैन चैट विद इट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट Uh, we are going to create a pretty good, uh, pretty good and a pretty simple uh, front end using HTML and CSS. I am keeping this simple uh, because uh, for the sake of simplicity and for the sake of learning purpose. Uh, because the, uh, this is not a role of an AI engineer. The role of AI engineer is to uh, create backends and create backend functionalities uh, related to AI uh, at the backend. The front end will be handled by a front end developer. Uh, but you should know every bit of uh, code of your project. Uh, so we are going to do it. Uh, we are going to uh, get an overview of how to implement it. and firstly let's get started by uh, viewing the working of the ui so you can see this is the uh, final ui uh, the front end of our uh, application uh, it it is serving on the uh, home route as we can see and you can uh, upload any file related to it like i am uh, uploading this agentic ai uh, engine, ai engineering report it contains basically uh, statistics and the research data of uh, what the top uh, people are top companies are doing in ai engineering Uh, so it's a must read uh, you can also read it today we are going to perform uh, the uh, testing on this file okay so i will open this file okay and i will now upload it index it as you can see it will uh, say uh, that okay index completed you can now chat so as you can see this is a uh, progressive like if the indexing is not done this chat uh, chat box will not uh, open okay and uh, uh, let me open the uh, file content for you i have also the text version for the file for the reference and let us ask something like uh, Uh, about rag okay let uh, let me ask a rag related question like uh, like is rag important to learn for ai engineer let me send it and let us see that is it able to answer that or not and as you can see it is uh, giving us a thinking tag also that the processing is uh, done and we can see okay yes the uh, Uh, model is giving us some answer based on the context of it, and is it? It is giving us a standard seventy percent of respondents in the survey indicate they are using it in some form. So let us check that is it correct or not. Okay, uh, so it is. Is it based on the data or not? So let me find this seventy percent here, and you can see that okay, this is based clearly based on the uh, document ingested in the rack flow, and you can also see that uh, this is a uh, running server of fast API, and you can see in the rocks that okay, uh, the answer preview yes rag and questions also we can see in some form here. Uh, so it is working and now i hope you got the idea what we are going to build uh, so be with me and we will implement it together so let's get started mm, so uh, let's uh, we are in the so we are in the uh, code id the project id project directory in a vs code and now we are going to implement it uh, in the previous uh, lecture we have done till the we have done till the implementation of fast api as you can see we have uh, coded the routes and now we are going to code inside this uh, static and this template okay uh, to serve it in the previous lecture previous lecture we have coded a simple hello world page which was serving uh, at the uh, home route now we are going to edit it and make it uh, as you as you have seen in the uh, starting of the session so let's start coding so firstly i will start with the css and i will write the css related code uh, you don't have to understand it at a deeper level you just have to get the overview of it uh, so wait a minute let me copy it let me Copy it from here. So here is the code. Basically, let me give you a pretty uh, a high overview of it. Like you can see, this root is defining a variable of a, for a light and dark scheme, uh, scheme, and this body header and this is the like giving the uh, design uh, design code using the CSS. Like for body, we are keeping margin zero and all. Uh, this hashtag is for IDs. Uh, so we are giving that okay. Drop zone uh, is some ID which is defined to uh, which is linked to a uh, div inside our HTML code. So. so that should have the idea of uh, the style of this so this is how the code is uh, css code will be written this is a pretty simple code you can easily generate it using any uh, uh, llms like chat gpt and all so you are good to go with that you just have to focus uh, how we did this like uh, how we uh, coded this documentation document chat this is just the tip of the iceberg you don't have to understand it that much so let's uh, I, this is was the overview this dot bubble is like uh, we are targeting the classes 
uh, what is the difference between IDs and classes like the hashtag and dot uh, dot thing? Uh, IDs are unique and classes can be a group. Like multiple elements can have uh, same class, but multiple ca elements can't have same IDs. So that's the difference there. So that's why it is we have written that and this code is written according to the styling we have seen uh, for the uh, implementation you have seen in the starting of the session. Uh, so this CSS is done. Uh, let's move on uh, to write the index.html code. Currently we are in this simple hello world uh, uh, code. Now let me uh, write the code of the implementation we have seen. So here. So as you guys can see, uh, this is a bit complex, but uh, be with me. I will explain you and give you an overview that what is actually happening. Okay. So firstly, what we will do, uh, we will see, we will try to run it. We will try to run it because uh, uh, I will tell you with the actual implementation, I will tell that what each part is going to each part. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, run it using Unicorn. Okay. And as we know that the root, as you can see, uh, our UI is up and running and let us understand uh, how we have created it uh, step by step. So this is the code and this is our index.html and now let's understand it in a simpler manner uh, by dividing it into multiple parts. Uh, so you can see the index as, uh, HTML works basically in a uh, tag language. HTML is a tag language, hypertext markup language. So it's a tag language. So there is multiple tags. The main tags of HTML is HTML. Uh, it has a head tag and it has a body tag. In head, uh, head we uh, write the information about the web page like the title title of the uh, web page and the metadata related information. So in head you can see and we can we also link uh, link some uh, style data, external style uh, CSS and external uh, JavaScript code inside the head element. Uh, so that's why it has uh, this style tag in, inside it and it has a script tag inside it. Script means script inside the script we have all the JavaScript related code. Uh, we use JavaScript to uh, enable dynamic functionality inside a HTML web page. Uh, so this is it, and we are linking here. We are linking uh, the external uh, CSS, the CSS code inside this HTML. So all the CSS will be used inside, uh, used to style this index.html page. So this styling is pretty clear, I think. And now let's move on to understand what functions we have created here inside this script.jsx. So we have created simple functions here, and you will understand it in a bit. So we have first upload files. This upload file function will be uh, will handle the upload related uh, code upload related logic inside the front end so it will be responsible uh, for getting the input for getting for getting the uploaded files and uh, for getting the uploaded files converting into it into appropriate form and sending it to the uh, upload route as you can see here you are we are using fetch and sending it into the upload file along with it's a method of post and the body is fd what is fd here it's a form data and it, in form data we have all the files which are uploaded by the user so at the end what we will get uh, the rest in the rest.json we get the data and in the data we have session id so what we get when uh, we are seeing in the past videos that when we upload a document we get a session id which we need to store and which we need to query the uploaded documents at the particular session so what we are doing we are storing this session id we are getting this session id uh, from the response of the chat ingester and we are storing it in the local variable and then what we are doing we are storing this session id inside this local storage uh, with the attribute name mdc session id so whenever a, a user uploads a document, the uploaded the uploaded uh, upload uh, upload document and the ingestion of the document is successful, we get a session ID and we are storing the session ID inside the local storage of the browser. Okay, and and we are in the starting we are also checking that. So if the session ID is already present, we can uh, check the uh, we can chat all uh, on it if the previously chat ingestion was done. Okay, so we have all, also implemented that. So if the session ID is present, if the session ID is present, we will display the chat style. Here the code is written. So this upload file, I think it's clear. What is this send message? Send message is like uh, for data retrieval and data generation. So it will use this chat uh, route and how it will use? It will just uh, basically get the uh, input message from this message input. This will uh, this uh, ID will link to the input field in the HTML page. And this will get the input from the uh, input field inside the HTML page and store it into the input variable. And thus we are getting this input variable, uh, variable uh, data and we are storing it into text by doing some processing. And then what we are checking, we are checking if there is no session ID, how will we uh, in a, do on what context uh, we will do the data retrieval and data generation. So we are uh, giving here a, a error. And then what we are doing, we are just append using this method append message. So what this append message uh, method is doing, it is just a, a method to create the uh, bubble chat UI. Like you see the, that uh, uh, this is a this this message is sent from the user. This message is sent by you uh, by AI. So this bubbling is handled by uh, this append message. Okay. Uh, so this is a, a code for that so this we we just created okay user has uh, sent some text uh, so we create a bubble with the user uh, with the title user and the text written by the user 
and then we toggle the thinking toggle thinking means we are uh, in, in the implementation you see that there was thinking or uh, uh, text was getting so the thinking text was uh, toggled by this function which you can see here so th this is basically uh, disabling the send button and this is basically enabling the thinking uh, text on it so this is the toggle thing and we just toggling the thinking and we are processing uh, the user query how we are processing we are sending the user query this uh, in this chat uh, route and uh, the chat route will process the fast api will work and it will uh, process uh, it will run the function which is linked to this route and in the uh, response we get the answer from our rag application from our llm application uh, llm ops application uh, so in the uh, output we get this data and we are appending the message like we are creating a bubble inside the ui and they are saying that it is the message from the assistant and we getting the data dot answer so we getting the answer also of the uh, application and if there is any error we are just console logging it okay and they are they are thinking uh, doing thinking false okay so this is a very simple ui this function is done there is basically these functions which are uh, providing us a dynamic uh, flow in the index.html and finally uh, what we have, we have simply this toast what is this toast this is a uh, below pop, below pop up notification which you have seen in the implementation so this function is doing that and now let's uh, and inside this all these functions are invoked accordingly uh, so that the HTML page can function properly. So this uh, window dot add event listener is just adding some event listeners uh, accordingly. Okay, as you can see here, we are just linking that submit is linked to upload file. Click is linked to send message of the send message. If send button is clicked, then send message uh, uh, function will run. So like this, it works. Uh, you can understand it by going into a chatbot also, uh, putting it into a chat GPT and understand it more. Uh, so but it's not that much required. And now let's move on to body. Body will contain the uh, uh, code which you will display which you will see inside this uh, in uh, uh, our web page so in our body we see this main tag in the tag we can see this okay drag and upload file area so this uh oh, this is the section of the uploader like the upload section where we are uploading the files and this is the section of the uh chatting so this is uh, by default display none it will enable if we uh, store the ingest the document and it will ingest successfully and we get the session id stored in our local storage so then this chat id will enable and in this chat id you can see uh, like all the appropriate related uh, tags are present so this is the simple implementation of the ui and now let us see the working of the ui once more and how to run it so you don't have to do anything you just have to simply run the fast api and the fast api on its own serve the uh, index uh, index.html on the home route so here and you can see that this is uh, uh, running on this uh, home route and now i will choose a file for example this time i'll choose this agent txt uh, txt and upload it and the ingestion will run as you can see the ingestion has run and then i what i will do i will ask what are the phases it is yeah so let's send it and see what is happening in the backend as you can see uh open a call has done and uh, our user input was what are the phases agent TK answer preview is here so as you can see we will get it inside the chat ui bubble also uh so this is the simple implementation you can make it more complex you can add react here also uh, you can add any front end framework you want and serve it uh, using fast api by, by creating the build uh, that is pretty doable and pretty easy to do uh, so i hope you get to know now that uh, how to implement a ui uh, for our uh, for our lm ops application and uh, in the next session what we will do uh, we will implement some test cases some units that unit test cases and some integration test cases uh, which will able to uh, evaluate or uh, make the application more robust okay uh, so that will be the agenda of our next session uh, so please revise what we have learned please understand and go through the all the code once more and understand it uh, run it in your machine and solve all the errors if you are getting and see you in the next video and be ready to understand that how to write pi test cases like unit test and integration test in the next video so okay bye bye take care have a nice day